Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Obviously, dropping later this week, we got season three for Warzone 2 and MW2. And with it, we're going to see a brand new battle pass. And for the first time ever, the Black Cell upgrade, which is basically battle pass bonus items, if you will. And today, we got reveals for some battle pass information and some new intel on Black Cell as well. So initially here, we've got a new trailer for Black Cell featuring some of the content unlocked within this. Keep in mind, this is a $30 option and $29.99 USD option. You can only buy it with real world money. It's not available for COD points, but it's going to end up getting you a lot of extra additional content. It's not the only battle pass option, right? But it is going to have those extra options. So we get a, a black cell like operator and logo look there. You might've noticed that on the battle pass initially over the past couple of weeks, this logo has actually been in the top left, but we get the operator there, Call of Duty black cell now available, all sorts of stuff like that. Introducing black cell, Premier Battle Pass upgrades. So I will say, I do think it's a little strange that they're going all in on a Battle Pass upgrade, a paid Battle Pass upgrade with a bunch of bonus cosmetics when the game's been received as it has up until this point. Not necessarily the best timing for it, but it's the news that we've got regardless. So you get some uh, blueprints here, obviously all the skins, which honestly, I won't lie, do look really good. Like the value of it, if you care about the in-game stuff seems decent uh but obviously you know speak with your wallet in a lot of ways too but the skins that you get here the variants if you will i mean the all gold and the black looks pretty clean like i won't lie also the helicopter skin in the background i didn't even realize that until just now with the giant snake on it honestly it looks kind of cool i won't lie uh obviously the standard like gameplay trailer stuff you get to see a lot of different skins here one for alejandro obviously one of our new battle pass operators coming in the full pass the tank skin the black cell operator value over 7,000 COD points, apparently, because of all the skins and blueprints and everything that they're including in this. You get the Battle Pass, like, upgrade with the 20 tier skips. That's essentially the new upgraded version of the Battle Pass. The standard one's still there, though, if you want to just go for that, or the free version as well. You don't even have to buy it. The Black Cell Operator, which obviously is the one that we saw. The Pro Tuned Weapon Blueprint there as well. You get Variant Skins, which is like the Ghost Skin, the Alejandro Skin, so on and so forth. The Black Cell Infill Sector, that's where, in the Battle Pass, you can choose to start there and go through, rather than just in the standard first sector spot, basically. Then we get the available April 12th pre-order now, all sorts of stuff like that, right? With the Black Cell Operator in the background. So that's the initial breakdown and overview of the Black Cell upgrade for the Season 3 pass. Now, we also got a blog post in regards to Black Cell that basically just details it a little bit more here, showing off everything that actually comes with the uh, upgrade itself. So like they say, 7,000 Call of Duty points is essentially what you're getting out of this in terms of all the content with the Pro Tuned Weapon Blueprint. Uh, 1,100 COD points just right off the rip, you get those back. A vehicle skin, a finishing move, the obvious brand new operator for Black Cell itself. 20 tier skips and the battle pass uh, base like variant. You can earn up to 1400 COD points in the pass. You also get multiple uh, battle pass entry sectors and bonus content with the 12 alternative skins here. So this is what the black cell entry point is going to look like in the battle pass itself, where instead of starting down here, like, you know, sector zero, you can actually start up here and work your way around that way. So it'll be a little bit quicker to get to certain areas of the pass with that. We get some of the skin previews here as well that, of course, we've already seen. I won't lie. Like I said, I think some of them look really cool. Uh, that said, again, speak with your wallet. If you're not happy with the state of the game, don't buy the pass. Don't buy a black cell, stuff like that, you know? It basically is just showing off a lot of the skins. Pretty standard stuff here, but a few additional details with the blog here. More importantly, we get the actual battle pass breakdown for season three. So we get more information on here. So new battle pass offering, black cell. Yet again, they're really going all in on Black Cell, obviously. So Automatic Pathing is going to be a brand new Battle Pass update. Essentially, with this, you can have the game auto-spend your tokens uh, and just have a like default path that'll go through. It won't be like getting you the exact content you want. Say you really want C18, it might take you around to C7, C11, C13 before you go up there. It just does it automatically for you. So if you don't care about your pathing, you will you can have that like going on in the background, basically, which is kind of neat. Uh, purchase the Battle Pass to unlock Valeria and Alejandro, obviously these are our two main battle pass operators here that said alex was another leaked operator for season three he could potentially be coming as part of the raid here with the season three reloaded update obviously 
a bit later on into the season. New weapons in sectors C4 and C11. So we've got the Imperium sniper rifle, of course. Uh, we'll be talking about the whole weapons update in a video later on today, so stay tuned for that. But this is essentially the intervention sniper, which is going to be very, very fun. Regardless of how you build out the weapon, it's quality over quantity with the FJX Imperium. With the lowest fire rate in its class and just five rounds per reload, you gotta make your shots count. So keep that in mind. It's gonna be a little bit more skillful because of that. The Cronin Squall battle rifle is also gonna be there as well. Keep in mind, these are free for everyone with the pass as well uh with the best range and fire rate in its class the cronin squall is a worthy contender across all modes so we've got both of those there's going to be new operator skins coming in sectors c10 c15 and c20 including some upgradable variants obviously through black cell so you're getting some standard task force 141 operator skins in the past this time around which honestly is long overdue we should have had task force 141 fully available to play as operators outside of the vault edition of the game quite some time ago it's about time that uh, everyone's going to be able to access all these operators through unlocking some of these skins also quick reminder as we are going through everything here today with the battle pass and all the reveals if you guys are new to the channel every day i got you covered with absolutely everything going on in cod whether it's news updates leaks the meta you name it it's all right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications and if you guys enjoy the video let me know by dropping a like on it, it would be seriously appreciated obviously Obviously, with Season 3 dropping tomorrow, we got a ton of super important content coming out with updated loadouts, with the new patch notes, everything like that. So stay tuned. A lot of spicy videos incoming. There's also going to be a new Pharah Operator skin in C10. There's going to be a new Gus Operator skin in C15, and then a new Ghost Operator skin in C20. So that's essentially the details there of what's going on with some of those HVT, the high value target operator skins as they're also known complete the map for victory sector rewards so get 100 map completion by conquering all 20 sectors this gives you access to the final victory sector which features the following items a uh, valeria operator skin a battle pass blueprint an alejandro operator skin and the vaquero 141 sniper rifle blueprint which obviously is going to be based around task force 141 and 300 cod points as well so the pass obviously themed around black cell slash alejandro and valeria this time around which is pretty cool we also have some new bundles coming there's going to be the manticore pro pack 3 which is like another kind of blacked out milsim tactical skin if you will looks kind of cool we've got the classic ghost pack actually returning as well this i won't lie was a skin in mw 2019 and now they're bringing it back again and selling it so instead of our skin transferring from modern warfare 2019 we just have to buy it again which seems really stupid in my opinion, I won't lie. There's also gonna be some new Call of Duty League team packs, the mid-season pack. This dude is ready for the beach, apparently. Uh, additional bundle highlights, there's gonna be the Hopping Mad Easter bundle available, uh, the Dark Rituals 2 bundle as well. This is one that we've seen in a lot of like the key art for season three so far. The Cyber Riot bundle, which looks kind of crazy. It's like Damascus, but an operator skin. Uh, so that is essentially the general breakdown of the season three battle pass and some new details on the black cell upgrade as well. And that being said, that is effectively going to wrap things up for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. That way you can always guarantee you're up to date with everything going on in COD. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.